Hi there, welcome back to my channel where we explore the extraordinary in the ordinary. Before we dive into today's video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Let's get started. In today's video, we are going to discuss about one WordPress plugin called All-in-One WP Migration and Backup Plugin. So what this plugin does and how you can use this plugin for your WordPress websites. So whenever you are uh, creating a simple blog or e-commerce website, most of the times we develop that website on our local host, right? So for example, this is my local host WordPress installation and I have created a simple website with few posts, uh, contact form, few plugins and a uh, few media library as well few media uh, few uh, images and uh, all that right so this is my one wordpress setup and uh, let's say i'm creating uh, a simple website or e an e-commerce website as well but this is my local host right i am not able to use this local host for a public domain so what i have to do once I am done with this website, once uh, development is done, I am uh, having uh, a theme decided, few plugins, designs and everything, right? So I think it's localhost uh, sometimes taking some time to load, but never mind. So this is uh, a setup and I want to migrate this website on some domain. For example, xyz.com or xyz.in, whatever domain we have purchased. So what we will do, we have a few other options as well. We can uh, go to cPanel uh, on hosting and uh, the hosting provider, uh, they provide us with the cPanel. So you can go to cPanel and uh, uh, you can create WordPress site there and uh, you need to create the FTP file transfer protocol users you need to uh, create users you can um, then using a filezilla or any ftp uh, client you need to connect to the server and uh, you need to uh, migrate the folders uh, from local to your server what about database you need to create database on cpanel you have to export the database from this local host and uh, import that data, uh, database on the server on the live server or dev server whatever server you are using for public domain so that's fine you can do it and uh, since a long time uh, we are doing it right but with wordpress we have very easy option right so what we can do uh, let me show you so this is my WordPress installation with the WP folder. So this is the WP folder installation I have done on my local host. And uh, this is another WordPress installation called new WP. And as you can see, this is blank WordPress installation with no additional plugins or uh, no additional themes, right? So right now the theme 24 is enabled on this uh, new installation and uh, at our end let's see which theme is activated we should have uh 2021 theme activated right so let's say uh, this is one installation i am creating a website with some themes i have done some uh, customization created a uh, few pages contact forms and uh, all that and uh, Let's say I'm done with the, the development for this website and I want to migrate. I want to copy this website as it is to the another domain. So you can guess this is our live domain, for example, xyz.com. Since it is live domain um, for this video, uh, for my purpose, I have created uh, another installation but you can uh, consider this as a live uh, WordPress domain. Okay, so what we are going to do, we need to export this website as it is, and we will import that website with database, media, content, everything into this website. So how you can do that? There is one popular plugin called All-in-One 
wp migration and backup so this plugin is uh, very popular and as you can see uh, over 60 million websites have used this plugin and um, 5 million plus active installations are there so this is very powerful easy to use and trustable plugin uh, i have also used uh, used that plugin uh, in more than you can say 100 websites in past so um, i can trust uh, this plugin the uh, the best thing about this plugin is it is very easy to use there is there are no uh, complex uh, configuration or so you just have to install this plugin export and whatever file you will be able to export you need to import that file on another wordpress setup so let's see uh, how this plugin works before that uh, let's have a look on the description so this is uh, developed in 2013 over 60 million website already used that plugin and it's uh, already fast and easy to use right uh, one major a benefit of using this plugin is uh, we have zero downtime so once you migrate this website your website will have very very less downtime so that's very uh, big advantage and as you can see we have uh, five star ratings as well more than six thousand so it's very good and the support is also very good. You can uh, create a support ticket or you can send an email. Um, that support team will uh, reply very soon. And uh, this plugin is available for 50 plus language translations. So that's uh, also a good option, um, good benefit as well. And uh, so basically this is a free plugin as whatever uh, features you are uh, looking at right now is having uh, in free plugin but if you want to upgrade there are many uh, uh, advanced feasible and uh, very uh, good options available in the paid plugin as well so trusted by government and being big uh, corporations as well so nasa and ibm a uh, few other big corporations are using that uh, this plugin is getting updated very uh, frequently support and compatibility as i said is very good and uh, one more uh, good point you can say is cloud storage support so whatever export you are doing with your uh, wordpress uh, setup you will be able to export that on your cloud storage so you uh, don't miss or you, uh, you don't lose your uh, setup as well and uh, there are few more uh, things like uh, the easy to use uh, very uh, support is very good so let's see uh, how this plugin works in a real scenario so i have already uh, let's go to plugins i have already installed this plugin as you can see uh, all in one wp migration so this is the screen so we have main two options the uh, first one is export site so using this screen you can export your wordpress complete wordpress setup in one file before that if you want to replace any text with the new text in the database you can do that for example in this setup i have uh, one word or anything that you want to update in the uh, in the new website then you can do that for example you can uh, write down here uh, wordpress and uh, you can use new wordpress instead of wordpress so whatever uh, pages contents wherever we will have wordpress it will be replaced by new wordpress so it's optional if required you can configure that okay now there are advanced options as well uh, if you want to uh, enable the uh, protect uh, you want to enable the protection for this backup with the password you can do that you need to enter the password here we are not doing that uh, because we are just testing it in our local uh, if you don't want to export the spam comment if you don't want to export the revisions if you don't want to export the media files as well sometimes you have uh, media files in gbs so you don't want to export those files you can uh, enable this option as well 
if you don't want to export the themes you can uh, select these options uh, similarly the multi uh, site plugins and uh, regular plugins also if you don't want to export the database the sql file uh, you can select this option as well and if you don't want to change or replace the email domain you can select that so we are not uh, uh, checking or using any advanced option here let's go and uh, try to export here so as you can see we have multiple options to export here but i guess with this free version only export file is available if you want to use the export option with uh, file transfer protocol using ftp you need to upgrade this plugin so once you click uh, you will have uh, you will be redirected on their uh, website that is servermask.com uh, and you need to purchase the paid plugin uh, similarly uh, whatever file you will export it will be uploaded on uh, ftp directly uh, it will be uploaded on drop dropbox so you need to purchase these extensions if you want so if you don't want to use this uh, other uh, paid extension you can simply uh, click on file it will export the file um, in that in uh, one uh, extension that is the dot wp press w press that will be the uh, extension so uh, it is it has started the export function right now they are retrieving the plugin files and etc etc so meanwhile we will go through these options so if you have google drive and you want to configure this export function with google drive you can purchase this extension similarly if you have amazon s3 bucket uh, on your uh, aws you can configure using this extension as well similarly blackbase b2 onedrive uh, this uh, microsoft onedrive box mega or digital ocean a digital ocean uh, google cloud as well so if you have google cloud account you can configure that using uh, purchasing this extension azure storage is also available amazon glacier or pc cloud webdav or s3 client so this is also uh, for amazon s3 client so there are multiple options available if you want to purchase you can purchase and uh, export your um, file your setup wordpress setup directly on this uh, uh, what you can say on this uh, system or this third party website so now they are uh, this plugin is trying to archive this plugin file so we have now 60% uh, completed right so uh, till that time uh, you can have a look on this website where they have a number of extensions uh, as we uh, just saw here, uh, we have a few options here. Let's go and uh, find unlimited extension, URL extension. So there are multiple extensions available. So if you have a uh, multi-site, uh, WordPress multi-site, and if you want to export that multi-site uh, using this plugin, then you need to purchase this uh, extension. That is, uh, that comes with the uh, premium uh, plugin also as uh, we just uh, realized that we uh, need to uh, um, upgrade with google drive extension or dropbox ftp extension amazon s3 bucket extension onedrive or uh, direct extension p cloud extension as well so uh, on this website they have almost all the necessary extensions that you can purchase and uh, once you purchase this extension you have to uh, install those um, extensions on your uh, wordpress the source file and uh, the source wordpress where you can uh, integrate this uh, extension and you just have to enter your username password or whatever details you have on those products and uh, you will be able to uh, integrate those uh, products easily on your wordpress so this is uh, their website that you can um, easily find the extensions so now we have uh, ready uh, with our uh, the file source file as you can see we have the size of 161 mb uh, once you click uh, it will start the downloading now we have um, we are done with the download so we are done with this um, source uh, wordpress now let's go to our uh, new wordpress installation so this is plugins uh, 
I don't think okay I need to add that plugin as well so name of that plugin let me just copy and find that plugin quickly copy and all in one WP migration backup so it will be there it will take hardly a few seconds so now I'm trying to install that make sure that you have WordPress installed already uh, on this um, uh, destination where you want to copy that uh, entire website and make sure that you don't have uh, any um, changes or any updates done on this because it will overwrite from our source uh, file so now we have already installed let's go to import so now uh, we have this import file now you can click on import and we will have this file so right now this file exceeds the maximum uh, upload size for uh, 40 mb we won't be able to upload uh, the file more than 40 MB. What we can do here, let's go to our site and in our export, what we can do, uh, just uh, try to uh, select those options. Uh, we don't want, uh, let's keep the database. Uh, we don't want plugins, these plugins. Let's keep the themes, media files. We don't want post revisions as well so we don't want backup and uh, let's uh, export uh, okay we we can uh, export the themes as well but uh, yeah let's keep these themes for now and see if it is uh, taking uh, it is creating i think uh, we might need to uh, uh, exclude this uh, uh, themes as well because uh, i think uh, that option is taking uh, very uh, i mean that they are taking the big they are making this uh, setup a uh, big size setup so let's try to uh, ex exclude that option as well uh, it's localhost so sometimes it's uh, not working as expected let's wait for a few minutes it should be uh, fine so while uh, we are uh, trying to export here as you can see we have this maximum upload size of 40 mbs and uh, since this is localhost and we are just trying to test our plugin we are not going to uh, um, increase this size for for now but if you want to increase this size uh, you might need to uh, go this uh, go to this site as you can see on this link where uh, you can find the options how you can uh, update or uh, you can increase this size okay so now we are back with this uh, we have this export function now export to file before that let's let's uh, go and check other options let's check so we don't want any uh, anything from this side the theme plugins we don't want anything so uh, let's see if it is uh, creating a setup with uh, less than 40 mb of setup so it should be fine uh, yeah so it is returning the list of purpose files uh, plugin files i don't think we need the plugins yeah so now we have uh, 12 kb of this uh, setup so it will help okay so now let's go import uh, click on file and uh, this is the file it is now importing our uh, setup our wordpress source file and uh, it will be done in a few minutes i guess so let's wait for uh, a minute okay so as you see uh, we didn't uh, export anything from the source file but yeah uh, we might need to export the database because uh, we we need database uh, for sure so let me try to export again uh, till that time uh, it is importing our web's uh, content so it is saying that the import process will override your existing website including database media plugins themes please ensure that you have backup of your data before proceeding to the next step okay click on the proceed now it will uh, it will add some i mean it will import your files and database and everything so now it is successfully imported we might need to update the uh, programming structure and all yeah this is fine we can uh, update it later so it's not uh, that important 
also uh, let's click on finish and now if you uh, go to our new setup then we should have okay so the theme directory 2021 not exists why this is uh, this is showing as an error because uh, we didn't uh, export the theme right so what we can do uh, let's go and uh, export the theme and let's see if it is uh, not creating the file more than 40 mb so let's wait for a few minutes so yeah what we can do till that time let's go to themes and once you go to themes uh, you will see the this is the uh, activated theme since we don't have this 2021 theme on this setup uh, that's why it is showing us that uh, this uh, activated theme doesn't exist on your wordpress so right now uh, since we don't have that uh, setup it will revert to the latest theme uh, whatever theme we had before okay so now we have uh, this uh, another setup with uh, theme and uh, database now let's go and try to import that again file import that file and uh, yeah it's trying to import and now we should have that theme because uh, we have exported that theme from this source file okay now click on proceed and as you can see it takes very few minutes uh, to uh, export and import so yeah if you have a uh, very uh, big or uh, many web uh, web pages and database then it will uh, it will take much time but i think uh, if you have simple blog it will so now you can see uh, it's already logged out and uh, let's try to log in again make sure you are using the password same password as using this setup because we have uh, also uh, imported our uh, database as well so now you can see we have this team theme 2021 and once you go here now you can see we have exactly same replica of our website the reason why you are not able to see the image is because here we uh, excluded the media library right uh, just for this video purpose i haven't uh, excluded I, I haven't imported that media files but uh, if you are going to use this plugin you have to export those media library files so you can have the exact replica of this source website so now you can see uh, let's go to post here let's uh, go to post here as well you will have the same number exact number of uh, posts so we have 23 posts here and same 23 posts here as well right we have categories tags everything in place from our source website right so this is very useful and very easy to use plugin all in one wp migration and backup so if you are looking for uh, migrating your website in a quick way i suggest you should use this plugin without any issue and if you have any issues you can comment down uh, in this video i will try to help and uh, i think that's all for this video guys thanks for watching if you enjoy this video don't forget to like share and subscribe for more content stay tuned for my next video and hit the bell icon to get notified leave a comment down below to let me know what you would like to see next see you in the next one bye